Next new this morning, Wright KC has a warning for anyone who uses the bus. Wright KC had a positive test result for the driver of their 104 bus. They want anyone who took that route last Wednesday, April 1st to watch for possible symptoms and call your doctor. Across the state, Missouri now has more than 3,000 positive cases with 315 new cases just reported. 53 people have died so far. Now in Kansas, numbers are still climbing. 900 people have tested positive. 27 people have died. And one hotspot for those Kansas cases is a nursing home and a rehab center in KCK. Four people have died at the Riverbend Post Acute Rehabilitation Center. So far, four staff members have tested positive and 33 patients of the virus. Yesterday, a large family showed up there to see 83 year old Ina Knox, who is still inside the facility. Well, she tested positive for the coronavirus. Her family stood in the parking lot with signs saying how much they love her. They also wanted to thank the staff still inside taking care of her while well, we spoke to them from a distance. Workers and all the help. You know, I know it's a hard job because I'm a CNA, and we appreciate all that they do. And his family says that she continues to improve every day. We do know the rehab center has to run more tests. The state has yet to confirm any more cases there. Well, here is a look at the number of cases across the globe. According to Johns Hopkins University's map, there are more than 1.4 million confirmed cases in the world. Well, behind the nearly 400,000 cases in the U.S. is Spain, Italy, and France. They've also been hit hard, each with more than 100,000 positives. There are more than 308,000 people who have recovered from the coronavirus across the world. And here in the United States, we have seen the country's deadliest 24 hours in this coronavirus fight. More than 700 people died in New York alone. ABC's Andrew Dimbert is watching the numbers from Washington. A deadly day in the Northeast. The New York State death toll seeing its largest one day spike. That 731 people who we lost behind every one of those numbers is an individual, is a family, is a mother, is a father, is a sister, is a brother. But there are encouraging signs of hope. The rates of hospitalizations are going down, and the president says 110,000 ventilators will be ready in the coming weeks, with thousands being distributed to states in the next few days. But the battle between states and the federal government response rages on. Trump telling Fox News New York doesn't need as much equipment as they requested. Starting out, I'm right, because... They wanted 40,000 ventilators, 40,000, and they're not going to need anywhere near that. But FEMA records show New York City ICU beds and hospitals are near capacity, with many health officials warning the worst is yet to come. This to me is like a mass casualty event. It's like, it's like war. In Michigan, healthcare workers overwhelmed from the outbreak. We basically uh, <laughs> were told to leave because we refused to accept unsafe staffing. This while Los Angeles is mandating that all workers at essential businesses like grocery stores now cover their face while at work. And now new information from top health experts that African Americans are being hit disproportionately hard by the virus because of underlying medical conditions. I expect that we will still see the pattern that when you look at the proportion of people who get into serious trouble and die, again, it's gonna be disproportionate towards the African Americans. Meanwhile, the president is threatening to cut funding to the World Health Organization. Well, funding is approved by Congress and not the White House. And back at home, there's a new petition making the rounds to help Missouri prison inmates get protective face masks and hand sanitizer for their housing areas. Well, the petition is getting support from women who say that they have to fight for their loved ones behind bars. The Casey Freedom Project is leading the push, but these women hope that sharing their stories will be the key to getting help. Inmates are human beings. If it was their loved one that was incarcerated, they would want the same thing as we do. Right now, they say that there are no cases of COVID-19 inside any Missouri Department of Corrections facility. 838 in the state of Missouri just implemented an emergency rule to make sure the first responders who catch the coronavirus are covered. The Labor Department said Tuesday that responders will be covered under workers' compensation, even if it can't be proven that the responder contracted the virus at work. And Kansas City families now have another resource for food. The Community Action Agency of Greater Kansas City and staff at the Impact Ministry Family Resource Center can help. Food distributions are going to happen at the First Baptist Church Blue Springs on Little Blue Parkway April 14th and April 28th from 1230 to 230. Well, parents, kids and staffers in the independent school district are making hundreds of masks to help during this pandemic. The CDC came out with new guidelines regarding the use of masks. And so we decided to see about us making masks ourselves 
And luckily we have lots of sewing machines at our high schools. We had people that were really anxious and willing to teach others how to sew. I can't say enough good things about the way that everybody within the independent school district is coming together to meet the needs of our community, our families and our staff. District continues helping with meals, nursing services, and also virtual lessons for kids. It's also providing childcare services for essential staff and first responders.